already faced with some challenges to grow the economy and attract more investment in the country. All eyes will be on Finance Minister Pravin Gordon as he said to outline plans for 2017. I think there's about 2 million or less high income earners in South Africa. So as the government might want to increase that, but it won't be enough to cover the kind of revenue that they are, that they are looking for because the tax is quite small. You then have the, the, the sin taxes and, and then the, the fuel levy. We've seen a steady increase, I think, I can't remember the last time that those were not increased, but we are definitely going to see an increase there in order for him to, 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 to try and, 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 and raise the additional 28 billion rands. While South Africa is estimated to have seen 0.4% growth in real gross domestic product, EY Africa tax controversy leader Mangaliso Nzimande says raising value-added tax may prove to be the most suitable way to increase revenue for now. VAT uh, is, is the most effective from, from a treasury perspective in terms of raising the, the, the required amount of revenue and in terms of, of administration as well. But the problem with VAT, VAT is that it's very politically sensitive. Unions are against VAT because they say that it has a regressive effect on the poor. So it's, 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 it's a bit of a hot potato for the minister, if I can say so, because it, while it is the most effective tax for him to raise, it also has its challenges in terms of the, of the, of, of, of the political sensitivity of VAT. Meanwhile, Democratic Alliance is proposing a comprehensive spending review. That is the only way that we can reprioritize expenditure in order to give hope to the millions of young people who do not have jobs or have given up looking for jobs uh, in South Africa. Whilst Minister Gordon is expected to forecast economic growth around 1.3% this year, this is likely to be an optimistic view with analysts believing that the country can expect more sin taxes this year. Pamato, N7, Johannesburg.